What's up everyone and welcome back to the final video of 2023 from my phenomenal figures. It has been an absolute crazy year for my phenomenal figures. For me, it has been an absolute insane year. Just ignore those things over there. They are not mine. I did have something covering them up, but uh, it was taken away and the arena is empty right now. As you can see, here's the here's like the crowd that is gone. The crowd has been removed. No, we are not doing a new arena because the arena looks so good right now. The commentators are gone. We got this new Raw's War ring. I love this ring. So fresh, so new. I've been waiting on a new ring for so long now. Finally got it. And then we got the Raw going on the side. So it kind of looks good. Like it's matching. The red looks good. I'm happy with how the arena looks. The entrance stage is looking dope. Got the commentary table over there. We got the black steel steps. So everything is great in the arena right now. I actually might take these off and put them the old style again. Just so it's match. But for right now, I'm going to keep it as raw. Anyways, getting into the video today. We are going to be going through my WWE and AEW collection. So if I bring you over here, we've got the bet. This is like every single crowd member over here. So it's like basically just like a lot of basics and older figures. Like this big E, not the greatest basic, so it just goes in the crowd. Then we got some, um, this is actually a new figure, that should be over there. The figures are very jumbled right now, but we got our, we got our, um, box where it's just like older figures, guys that got released, or figures that it may not use as much anymore, like the set, so they're outdated, pop it in there. Then we got our AW collection, might be a little messy right now, there might be some things in there. Over there we got our Legends collections, all the way in that bin, and then we got like, then in this box is people I'm going to be using for a Royal Rumble match, which I haven't got to done yet, do yet, except for that MJF and the Million Dollar Man and the Lim Morgan that's just thrown in there. And then we got a collection, just the main roster bin, and then just some figures in there. So yeah, in this video today, we're going to be going through the collection. Hope everyone enjoys it. Um, also, I'll basically, you know what, I'll do this at the end of the video. We're going to get into the collection. I have done these in the past, you know, like this is kind of becoming like, a tradition like we do this every year at the end of the year and i have done it throughout the year where like if i've got like a bunch of figures and i just wanted to update the collection anyways starting off with the first figure we have got a basic j uso just a basic j uso is actually my first ever j uso figure so yeah that's actually really really cool it's in the white attire we got this in elite montez ford in the full red amazing figure actually a big fan of this figure but um yeah, again, this is no particular order. I think he was in my crowd, or he might have been in the old, in the outdated figures that, like, I don't really, like, I don't use as much, and I got new figures of. We got this Tough Talker. I remember it was a Tough Talker, Roman Reigns, and back in the day when I started collecting figures when I was much younger, I used to buy the basics, and I never buy the elite. So that's definitely something that I will say to young collectors. You're gonna, when you're older, you're gonna regret doing this. Buy the elite figures that are out of the guy. Like, I remember I would always buy the cheaper one, and I'd always buy, like, this was my first ever Roman Reigns. Not a bad figure or anything, it's actually a decent basic, but, like, that was my first ever Roman Reigns figure. Like, that's crazy to think, like, the Roman figures we have now, like, I would never buy that for my Roman. I'd always go for an Elite, so always go for the Elite figures. I did have some Elites, but not as many. We got this Elite Kevin Owens, such an old figure. This was actually my first Kevin Owens. Sorry about that, my nose is a little runny. We got like this KO logo, it's always, I mean, in the winter time, my nose is always like that. I don't know if everybody else is like that, but I'm always blocked up. But yeah, we got this Fight Everyone shirt. Uh, pretty cool figure, actually. It's a decent Owens. Like, the, you don't got the tattoos on the sleeve, the head scan's beat up. But uh, yeah, it's a good figure. We got this Selena Vega, which I've been meaning to get in the Elite Selena Vega for so long now, and I just never have got it. Missing an arm, decent figure. We got another Elite Roman Reigns. This is such a better one than that one, except for the neck is broken on the side. The vest does come off, and the gauntlets were, like, removable. I think this was the first time we seen the gauntlet. The gauntlets were, like, a removable thing. I think I got, like, the gold one on another Roman Reigns. We got the vest, and then we got, like, the... It's obviously an Elite. Pretty good figure, and, you know, you know, it's not a bad Roman. There's definitely better ones these days, but... We got this Corbin, which I have, just, I think this is like, yeah, I have another Corbin, but this is like the King Corbin figure. I've always kind of been a fan of this figure, other than he's way too small. Like, the Corbin is not that skinny in the body. <coughs> 
And height-wise, he's definitely taller, so... Yeah, we got this Corbin. I remember liking that figure when I got it. I still don't think it's a bad figure. We got this Titus O'Neil. Oh my god, this was like one of the first figures I got when I got into YouTube and I started filming videos. I remember like all the figures I got around that time. And actually one of the first figures I ever reviewed on this channel is this Titus O'Neil. Crazy to think. Now it's just used as a crowd member. It's actually a really good elite. Like I think it's a solid, solid figure. Solid sh uh, shirt comes with the figure as well. Solid head scan. It's actually a decent elite. Just never really use it because Titus, you know, he's not really a big time part of the company. I kind of just got it to have him on the roster. We got this old Drew McIntyre basic, which I only got this for the for the Zat Rollins, which we will show. Here's the basic Zat Rollins. I remember just getting this for the Rollins. I actually really love this figure. The head scan's great. The jacket's great. It's outdated now, but when he was the Monday Night Messiah, I loved him. As a Monday Night Messiah, and they never really did anything uh, great figures after that, other than the Rey Mysterio attire. We got this Undertaker figure here, not bad, just all basic. I'm gonna start like getting into this now. We got this R Truth. Uh, this was like I got this at like a charity shop. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Vincent's De Paul VIP, it's called or something like that. I can't remember the name of it, but I think I'm pretty sure that is where I got this figure. And I remember getting it at the time, and it was it was probably like just as beat up for this, but I thought it was actually a great figure. Like the, it might be a bit more beat up than now than what it was, but like the attire on this thing was just such so cool, and it was like three euros or something, so you know it was hardly worth anything. So I got that. We got this uh, Shinsuke, which actually comes with the title. Well, yeah, you're you're gonna notice there's a lot of basic Shinsuke Nakamura's. And the reason for that is I remember I got the first basic one, which is actually a good figure. And then I remember getting this. I might only have two Shinsuke basics, but who knows? There could be a few more thrown in there. But we got this basic. It's a decent figure. It came with like a Rey Mysterio. And then, um, yeah, it's a decent basic. We got another basic one just in the full red this time. You know, yet again, just the Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm going to move the camera back just a little bit so I can like get the full figure in the frame. We got this Edge. Which is a terrible figure. I think I got this for the Kane. And honestly, I re kind of regret buying this and not buying something better. But I feel like I had like a lot of the figures at the time. This Edge. Terrible. Terrible basic in my opinion. We got this Jeff Hardy. Uh, pretty good basic Jeff Hardy. It's actually, well, it's actually on the better side in my opinion. On the basics. I don't think this basic is absolutely horrible. Like that Edge. Jesus. I don't know why I bought that. That Mustafa Ali. Cool basic. I've actually always been a fan of this. I never got to get the elite of this, but I did get it way better. In my opinion, it's kind of better than the elite. I do have a sick Mustafa Ali elite, but unfortunately, he's not, he's not with the company anymore. Really old Undertaker basic, which I believe isn't even mine. I think that's my brother's, but you know, just in the collection now. We got this elite Matt Riddle. Oh, freaking hell. I remember the, uh, the first Riddle with the white trunks. Love that figure. I've always been a big fan of his figures. I actually really do like this one as well. Like the head scan on it. Really nice. The shirt is good on it. The attire. I love the orange. Always been a big fan of Riddle. We got this Elite Woods. Oh my god. This is like an Elite I regret um, beating up. Like I was a kid, like so young when I got this. And it's such a cool figure. I'd, I'd actually love to get this now. Sorry about that. We got this uh, USA attire. Xavier Woods. The jacket's in okay condition. But, uh, such a cool figure. But, uh, yeah, it's beat up now. Then we got this other Woods. I don't think this one is beat up at all. I think this is... I think I remember getting two of this one. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. We got a... With the Rey Mysterio shirt on it there. Just a Rey shirt I threw on it for the crowd. It's a great figure. Um... But I think I got, like, the new updated wood. Still a really good figure, though. It's in fine condition as well. So, that's a beautiful, great woods. We got a few more basics, and then we're getting to the good stuff. This is just going for the crowd members. Got this Cena here. Not the greatest, anything great. Got the Brodus Clay figure. One of my, actually, my first favorite... My first figure I ever got, which is crazy. I remember liking WWE a little bit back then, and... I got the Brodus Clay basic. I remember just being obsessed with him. I thought his theme song and everything was pretty funny. We have this Big E basic. And not the greatest figure. We got... Then I'm going to basically just end it. This part of the video with these two. We got the little Dom Dom figure. Which does sit in the crowd. I just think it's so good to have a little kid in your crowd. Because... The uh, kid in your crowd. Because every crowd member you have in the figures is... um Is going to be like it. Because there's no kid... There's no kid... 
WWE figures, right? There's no kid WWE figures other than that little Dom. And uh, every other crowd member you're going to have, there's going to be like just a, a, a male or a female who's an adult. And obviously in WWE crowds, there's a lot of times there's going to be kids in the crowd. So it just makes the crowd look better. So a good addition to the crowd. We got this Ned figure. I love this figure as well. Cool figure. That just sits in the crowd. Okay, now we got into another box. We have got the Elites, which is kind of like older figures, but we're going to go with that next. We got this Elite Ricochet. Not a bad figure. The legs are skinny. I'd actually really like them to remake this thing, remake this figure. The legs are really skinny on that thing. Doesn't, doesn't have double joint elbows, and the head scan is... Not the greatest, in my opinion. We got this Zach Rollins Elite. I love this figure with the red jacket. Sick attire. 21 up against Zara. Head scan is on down. Another figure, I'm pretty sure. Then we got this Elite Coffee Kingston match in that Xavier Woods that we did see. Did we get a Big E? Yeah, we did get a Big E in this attire. I love this figure. Such a cool Elite. Uh, Kofi, you got this Tucker. Goes, goes with heavy machinery. Can you remember? I remember getting them. Always loving them. We got Braun Strowman. Decent, good figure. It's in decent condition. Head scans. Head scans a bit beat up. But the only thing about this figure ever since I got it was this. What is that? Garbage. Elite Jimmy So This is actually will be in the main roster. But I actually still love this figure. Still use that figure. Good Jimmy. We got a basic Otis. Not a bad figure at all. We got an Elite Braun Strowman beat up so much, but still cool. We got this Messiah Zeth, such a good figure. Head scan, attire, I remember being so excited to get this figure. And they just ruined the fuck out of this figure. Sorry for cursing, but Monday night, they didn't put Messiah there. Never understand what the hell that was about. Such a good figure as well, and they just ruined it. We got this Elite Roman, probably a little beat up because it's... An older one, but it's still in the decent. It's in decent condition. The gauntlet is still good and everything. I could, I could still in decent collection. <laughs> Cl ah, I'm saying my words wrong. Condition. It's in. It's a decent figure as well. Definitely got better Romans. Comes with the gold gauntlet. We got Humberto Carrillo, a really old basic figure, which I got because there's no other figures of him. We got this terrible Zet Rollins figure, which don't even ask what has happened to this thing. Get that out of here. You know what? Just, just get out of here. You are terrible. You are trash. That thing is terrible. We got this great Mustafa Ali Elite figure. Hate the way he's released now from WWE because he can't even use him. We got an Elite Kevin Owens. Decent one. Pretty good one. Head's got his little beat up. The attire is looking fine. We got an Elite Angel Guards. They're going with the Humberto Carrillo. I think these actually got moved up to the main roster again. So they were down in NXT. So that's why I have them in there. Got a RIP, man. Got, there's going to be a lot of Bray's in this video. We got Bray Wyatt. Love this figure, man. So sad that he's gone. Such a legend, man. I love you, Bray. RIP. We got an Ultimate Edition Bray Fiend. I love this figure. Yet again, such a sick figure, man. They, There's so many amazing Bray Wyatt figures from over the years. And we got the one with the Lantern. This figure is also very, very cool. I love that one. Such a cool figure. We got this jacked, over-jacked Angelo Dawkins. God damn, it's like my worst figure in my bloody collection. I hate that thing. That thing is absolutely crap. We got this great, great Bobby Lashley Hurt Business ring gear. Actually, a solid Bobby Elite. That was like, a, I think that was my first Bobby Elite. The gold one, the new the one we have today is probably better, but still. His ultimate is sick. I need to get that. We got Rick Boogs, my favorite figure of 2022, and I freaking still love this figure today. And... He's not with WWE anymore. We got Shelton Benjamin. We got a basic Shelton. Not bad. We got a basic Matt Riddle. I remember this figure coming out. Was being so excited to get that Riddle and the Keith Lee. I remember getting them like same time. We got in the Elite Fiend. Fiend. God damn, that brings me back so many memories. I love that figure. Comes with the Lantern as well. We got this terrible Elite Sin Basic Sinzaro, which is absolutely destroyed with a broken leg and half of the hand is like terrible we got this elite austin theory love this figure came with the jacket i love the elite austins the head scan wasn't the greatest but i do have it on my other elite austin right now 
Then we got uh, Matt Hardy, Broken Leg Matt Hardy. It was like the reckonable ones where the broken legs. A custom suit, which I have no clue why it is like that. A Bobby Lashley headless um, figure, which I think I tried to do a head swap and it went terribly wrong. The neck peg, full off, came off. Oh, we got the Burnt Fiend. I love this Elite. Some people didn't like this Elite too much. I actually was a big fan of it. We got the Burnt, burnt Fiend when he got burnt. To an absolute crisp. Uh, yeah, great figure. I'm trying to, like, goddamn, this tower is getting big. Oh, great, great figure. We've got this Elytra McIntyre with the Celts. We got, um, Jesus, I'm trying to reach over. There's so many figures. We got this, we got this basic Dolph Ziggler. Well, only Dolph Ziggler I ever had. Don't know how. They never had any good elites of them. Other than the newest one, SummerSlam one, which I might still get. I know he's released, but... Still, he might go to AW, and I might get it. We got a basic, terrible basic Daniel Bryan. No offense to it. Heads again, looks nothing like him. There's so many better ones. I got this Elias. I tried to do an LA Knight custom, and <coughs> it went wrong. We got this Francis Nugano. I tried to, like, take off the head skin. It went wrong. UFC figure. We got Dean Ambrose. Basic, very old figure. Who else we got here? A lot of old figures. We're almost done with this one. AJ Styles. Basic, my first ever AJ Styles figure. <coughs> Not a bad figure. We got a Drew McIntyre. This thing is wrecked. I don't know what the hell has happened to that. Um, let's get some other ones. We got a Brock without a head scan. I think I took the head scan off. Put on an Elite. I think this came with like the... One of those play sets. Like the... forgot what it's called. But one of those wrecking things. We got a, a Draw Day figure. A Draw Day basic never really got any lead of him or the aw1 i thought the aw1 was pretty shit to be honest got this finn balor figure not the greatest elite finn the attire is pretty bad it doesn't look a lot like him we got this terrible randy orton basic which uh yeah pretty bad if they made an elite that would be cool i think that's actually when he went up against Seth rollins and it's that crazy curb stomp Got a cool Matt Riddle Elite. This is a pretty recent Elite 99. That's a good figure. What else have we got in here? We got an Otis Elite. Great figure from the Heavy Machine Ruin. Definitely better than the Tucker, which we had. An old Sheamus Elite. Um, this was before his other one. I think the head scan on this figure is better than the, the other Sheamus. Kurt. I don't know what series it is, but the one with the coat. Got a few other basics. We got a really old basic John Cena. Got a basic Sheamus. God, we we're running out of room to put these figures in. We got an old basic Brock with one foot. Got a, a Miz, terrible Miz head scan. That head scan is absolutely awful. And Jesus Christ, there's so many other figures. Got an Elite Edge, good figure. I think this was his first Elite back when he like returned. Or there might have been the ultimate. We've got this basic Keith Lee. Beat up. We got a Drew McIntyre Elite, another one of these. Not too bad. His figures now are definitely better than his older Elites. Got a big e Elite, which does match the other New Day figures that we have seen. Pretty cool. Got a terrible Kevin Owens basic, which I don't, I think I bought that in like a sale or something. Uh, some New Day Elites that also got the boards. Yet again, pretty beat up. What else have we got here? We got a Sami Zayn with our head scan. I think I took it off to put on another figure. <clears throat> this great AJ, which I think I, I did a head swap on it. I actually, if I put the ultimate head scan on this, this figure would be great. Such an amazing AJ Styles. The tire's cool. I think it's when he went up against Chris Jericho at Mania. Got a Bobby Roode figure, a Robert Roode. The figure is cool. The entrance jacket is cool, but this one is just destroyed. Put those knee pads on it and not the greatest figure. He never got, a, a, he's still in the company, I'm pretty sure, but he, I think that's his only elite figure ever, which is pretty weird. Got a basic rock in black attire. Got a Jax John Morrison. Uh, I think that's almost everything in the box. Pretty much done with these older figures. We got this elite riddle. Pro, his best figure, except for the arms, were terrible on it. I don't know why they were that small. We got this elite AJ Styles when he went up against Daniel Bryan. We got a, another Kofi or another Woods. Sasha Banks. 
not a bad figure. She definitely probably does have better figures. And uh, Kofi Kingston, Jamaican attire. They should have made this an elite. Because the basic, you know, like back then in particular, she was terrible. And it would have been such a cool elite. Alexa Bliss. When she was with the Fiend. And I think that's almost everyone except when we got the Samoa Joe. Basic, such an old figure. And that is everyone in that box. Then we got the commentary. We got Corey Graves. And then we got this Jax figure. We got Sami Zayn. Got this Elite Sami Zayn. Kind of an older one. Pop that on top of the collection. Got so many different figures to get through. We got this Elite Xavier Woods. I actually did fix it up with that head scan. I do love that figure. Great figure. We got this basic Dexter Loomis. I actually got this. It's actually a good basic. Like the head scan looks just like him. But he's never on the main roster. He's never on the show. So, you know, it's just to have in the collection. We got Ivar from the Viking Raiders. Pretty cool. Not a bad figure. Gonna grab some more. We got this Lesnar. I love this figure. The head, the shirt and the other sh the shirts aren't on it, but it's such a good figure. I do use them sometimes for other figures, but it's a great figure. We got it in the Elite MVP figure. Not a bad Elite MVP. I don't think it's a half bad figure. We got Apollo Crews. Terrible. Uh, articulation on my arms. Got this Kofi Kingston. They need to make a new Apollo. Got this Kofi Kingston figure. Love this one from the New Day. Matching that Woods kind of like that's from same period. We got a Bray without a head. Uh, yet again, I tried to do a head swap. It went wrong. Got a, the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns, which not a lot of people like actually. And I've actually never had a problem with this figure. A lot of people just do not like it because they think the torso is too big. Yes, it might be a little bit too big, but I don't think the figure is absolutely terrible. We got Dusty Rhodes. A legend figure. Love that figure. Such an amazing great figure. We got a suited Miz figure. Big fan of this one. Uh, great for your promos. Got purple Damian Priest. One of the best elites of um, I think it was 2021. I think it was like 2021 that figure was out. Or yeah, it was 2021. One of the best figures that year. Got a Sheamus. I love this figure with the coat on. Beautiful. Great figure. We got the Chase Brock from Elite, Nine, Elite 99. Great figure. Demon Finn Balor. One of the best figures of last year. I thought that figure was so cool. That Brock was definitely one of the best figures of, of 2020, 2021. It was at, it was released in December, though. So, you know, got this sick-ass MVP suited figure. Got an elite Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare. Such a great figure. We got this. Oh, I love this figure. We got the elite 99 Zet Rollins with a head swap on it. Sometimes it does have the World Championship with it. So many people... Weren't mad on the head scan on it. I did, I changed the head scan on. We got another great fi figure from Elite Hunt Elite Series ninety nine. It's such an amazing series. Um, Elite ninety nine. That is Baron Corbin. We got the Royal Rumble. Uh, Rey Mysterio. We got this Dolph Roman Reigns. Such an amazing figure. Probably one of the best figures. Um, I don't know. I thought it was a great figure this year. One of the one of my favorite elites. In my collection, by far. One of my favorite figures this year. Paul Heyman. I love that. We've got Mr. America Hulk Hogan. Such a cool figure. Other than the torso. is just too big for a Hulk Hogan. Got the Supreme Cody Rhodes. This is just in it because he's in the WWE. And he is in. He's on the main roster. And he's in my main roster. He's in my bin. Got a, a AJ Styles there. Got the Viper. Randy Orton. Making good time with this. We got a basic ricochet. We got Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio. This Dom is so beat up. The Judgment Day one so much better as well. Got this Ray the Hands. Probably just took off and put onto another figure, but I love that figure. I want to actually buy it again with the double jointed elbows. Basic Gargano, his elite is a lot better than this. I only got this because I didn't have a Gargano. Got this Jey Uso Elite, which I wish I bought again, because mine is pretty beat up, but I love that figure. Elite Oscar with a Women's Championship on there. Um, like a ch Got a Zet Rollins Ultimate Edition. One of my, my favorite figure this year. Well, one of my favorite figures of the year, actually. I love that figure. One of my favorite figures, like I said, this year. I think it's one of the best that they've done. They, that and the AJ Ultimate and the Uso Ultimate. It's Orden. Cool figure. Another Roman. Pretty much the same to the other one. It looks like glad same. This one actually is the one that came with the the Brock Lesnar and the Paul Heyman. There's just a few things added to it. Rey Mysterio Elite. The Batman gear. An Elite Charlotte Flair. I'm so sorry about the noise in the background. An Elite Cedric Alexander. 
Elite Bunk, Bianca Belair. That's one of my best women's figures. The proportions on it, though, are a bit too small, in my opinion. We've got two basic Roman Reigns. I do prefer the one in the red. Basic Roman Reigns figures are actually really, really good. The shoes on it and everything. Not just that talked about. We've got an Elite Ivar. Another member from the Viking Raiders. And uh, yeah, that is everything from that bin. We got a few more bins to get through. So I'm going to go straight into them. We got the Polka Dots, Dusty Rhodes, Seth Frickin' Rollins. And we got the Ultimate Edition AJ Styles. The hands are just off right now because I have them on for a custom. Got e Liv, Liv Morgan Elite with the SmackDown Women's Championship. Got that for Christmas, actually. A lot of these figures you're seeing now wear bought for Christmas. Million Dollar Man, I love this figure. Actually, a great suited figure. Not really too familiar with Million Dollar Man, but the figure is absolutely lit. Got this basic Zeth. I love this figure. It's actually very unique that it's the color of the suit. The head scan is great. That head scan will go great on your other Zeth Rollinses. An Elite EO Sky with the Women's Tag Team Championship. We got Kane. Half of these figures won't even go in the ring anymore because that is how, like, how big this tower has got. We got this AJ Styles. Bit of a custom. It actually is the one with the Boneyard match. But it's a bit of a custom AJ for like the current AJ. We got Melo. Go Miss Carmelo Hayes. I freaking love this figure. Other than the head scan. Everything else is great on it. The head scan could have been a little bit better. The cloth good jacket though. That would be great for Zach Rollins. Got this theory which a lot of people loved. Other than the head scans. I thought they were alright. I got the other lead head scan on it. I thought the attire is amazing. I actually think it's one of the best figures of this year. Braun Breaker, Johnny Gargano, and Ricochet. I'm really trying to get this done quickly because it is going on for ages. We got the uh, return CM Punk figure. We got Scarlet. There's like absolutely no room for these figures anymore. I'm really trying to get this done. We got Finn Balor, basic. Not a bad figure. I need the Elite. We got Carl Anderson from the OC. We got one of my favorite figures this year. I'm going to just show, show three. We got Drew McIntyre. I love that figure. We got this almost pretty cool figure. We got a Rich Holland. I think it's a great figure, but the head scan is just so disappointing. Oh, my God. There's, like, no space in this ring. Everyone's falling out of the ring. And Luke Gallows, LG. Gunther, Johnny Knoxville, another Rey Mysterio, and an LA Knight basic figure just some more figures bobby lashley and the street profits at awcm punk some amazing cody rhodes figures the basic suited one and the bruising one two amazing figures ultimate edition les ultimate edition randy warden brock lesnar and the miz not a group anymore but these freaking sick figures the bloodline well jimmy and Solo are together with Roman and Paul. Dirty Dom and Damian Priest. Two amazing elites of 2023. R-True, Chitsuke and Akamura and Bronson Reed. Karrion Cross, This whack Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens tag team. Brother Hulk Hogan. Blue Tista. Another AJ Styles. Setos Escobar and Butch. Some more amazing figures. We got some more. John Morrison. Freaking hell. Sorry, sorry to get in frame. Becky Lynch. Otis. Barge Drum and Triple H. That is every single figure in my collection. Oh, Rhea Ripley. Forgot about her. Other than my Legends figures. But I really don't want this video to be that long. One minute, guys. Here's a scam of the Legends box. We got Goldberg. I'm just going to show some of the most known guys. We got Umaga. An Orton. We got Jake the Snakes Robinson. We got The Rock. We got Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know, like you get it. A lot of the legends, The Rock, um, Cena, Sean, Triple H, uh, that guy, Okazuna, Randy Orton. Love that figure, actually. Hulk Hogan, John Cena, another Cena, some Mysterios in there, some more Sean's, Macho Man, great Ric Flair figure. Undertaker, some more Undertakers, great figures, Triple H, Cena. Uh, and the collection video has come to an end. Uh, the only thing I didn't include was uh, AEW figures. Here's just an MJF. But thank you a lot for watching. Here's a look at this tower. Massive, huge tower of WWE figures. Sorry about the noise in the background, but as you can see, got this massive tower here. Thank you a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share. 
and subscribe to my phenomenal figures. My phenomenal figures out. Thank you for watching. Insane. Also, comment end if you got to the end of the video. And the only people that I will know that actually watch the very end are the people that comment end my phenomenal figures out though. Comment end. My phenomenal figures out. Freaking insane.